Yo, today I'll be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails in Photoshop. Thank you for all the support on yesterday's video. Today I said if I got 30 likes, I'll be making a Photoshop tutorial of how I make my thumbnails. And here it is. I hope you enjoy it and this does help a lot. If it does, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. The first thing you want to do as we will be making a thumbnail today is make sure you have a document size of 1920 times 1080. Once you have that open, we're going to be using the render that we made yesterday in yesterday's video. The ninja one depending on the render i like to make mine bigger because it stands out more to the thumbnail so once you've done that the first thing i like to do is i work on the render's eyes and stuff like small details so here you can see they're not very they don't stand out much so i like to brighten up a bit with a white brush all you have to do is go to the brush tool on the left grab a, a brush and make it uh, white in the bottom left like this and just go over it and go over the eyes do that to both sides and once you've done that use the opacity overlay so it brightens it up a bit but in some cases it does stand up too much so you might want to turn it down a little bit the second thing i like to do to the eyes as well is you get the same brush make it about a size of four pixels and make it 100 percent hardness and then just give it a little tap i give it smaller give it a tap in the corner and a tap on the same side so it gives it more of an effect and glow like it's got. Once you've done that, depending on the model, you can grab the sharpen tool on the left hand side. It should be blur tool for you and then just right click it, go to sharpen tool. Rasterize the layer and just go over the eyes with a sharpen tool. This makes the eyes stand out more and gives it a glistening look. I made a document with the things I used in yesterday's thumbnail, such as the background lines you use, the CCs, etc. I'll leave them all in the description for you to use and learn from. The first thing I do is I always start with a background suit. All you have to do is drag and drop this from the download in the description. Make it slightly bigger to fit how you desire. Drag the layer below, that's your render. In some cases, obviously this is going to fit your colour scheme, so as an injury is the blue, I like to click Control and U at the same time. You hit, come here to the hue slider at the top and just bring it down to whatever colour you see necessary. I'm going to use the light blue to match the colour scheme. From here you're going to want to work on lighting to see the background. I always start with a brush again, get a white brush, make a new layer, make it about 100 pixels and just go around the edges of the skin. From here, you're going to use the overlay blending option and just turn it down a little bit. From here, you can see how the lighting blends and works well with the background. After you finish that, you can start working on small details like such as working on the glow on the, like the nose for example. All you have to do again is just get the same brush, go over the nose, turn it down a bit so you can sort of work on the reflection. Just erase where you see necessary where like the ridges are and edges turn it back up a bit turn on the overlay and just work with the opacity Once you finish with that, you can start working on small lighting options like grabbing the same brush again, making it a zero hardness, and just giving white dots across the whole render and background. Turn it to overlay and just turn the opacity or fill down slightly so it gives it kind of a glow in the background. Once you've finished with that and you're satisfied with the outcome, you're going to want to work on your colour correction. This can be easily made by going to the adjustments tab and working with curves color lookups and any like of these levels etc however i'm going to be using my personal cc's that i use for every other thumbnail so i will not be giving these away however i can help if need be 
once you've applied them, you can start working on smaller details such as the lines they'll use in the thumbnail and the particles. Here, yeah, you're going to want to grab particles and the lines from the pack that I have in the description. With the lines, they will come off a bit weird, so you need to go to the blending options once again and go to linear dodge, add, and just fit it in. Particles can be scattered around the background anywhere, just as where you see necessary. Once you're finished and you're happy with the outcome, you can go ahead and add small details such as sparkle PNGs or lightning PNGs, etc. I'm going to go ahead and open my personal pack and start adding some things from there. The link to my personal pack will be in the description if you want to go ahead and buy it and check out some of the things in there. It's really useful and I use it for all my thumbnails and headers. There we go, I'm really happy with the end project and the image. If you did enjoy this and it did help a lot, please make sure you smash the like button and try and get this to 35 likes to beat yesterday's video. If you do want more tutorials in the future, subscribe and turn notifications on. I appreciate you all for all the support recently 